Hey guys, what up, what up? Alright, so in this video, we're going to do a tutorial series on how to get set up with Node. I want to use the Express, uh, the Express framework, which is a very minimal-like framework for Node. Uh, should be pretty cool, and some applications that are written in it is MySpace, LearnBoost, Storify, I never heard of it. A um, bunch of these other sites I never heard of, but they look good. And I'm going to use it as a... Um, I'm just going to try to build like a real simple website in order to show YouTube videos on, so that's it. So you need to make sure that you have Node installed in your mach machine so that you can use NPM. And uh, NPM is a package installer that comes with Node, so just make sure you download Node uh, for whatever sort of system you're going to be using it on. And just so you guys uh, have the link here, I'm going to go ahead and provide it. So that is not the link I was looking for. Anyway, just go to their main page. You can see that it actually detects the version that you have and works on Mac, Linux, Windows. I already have it installed, at least I think so. So I'm going to run uh, npm install express and then we're going to say hyphen hyphen save. Alright, so it's going to install all this crap. It might take a little bit longer for you because I may have already had this installed. I don't remember. Alright, so we need to figure out where this project's going to live. So I'm going to actually put it in my projects folder. So let's go ahead and CD into that. And you just want to put it wherever you want. I'm going to make a directory called uh, post because that's what I'm going to call this app. So let's go ahead and CD into that new directory. Alright, now once you're in it, we're going to go ahead and use a node command which is going to be called uh, npm init. And what this does is it creates a package.json file, which is really just a configuration file uh, for your application. And we're just going to go ahead and hit return so that we can accept all the defaults in here. Okay. And if we go ahead and dir, you can see that there's now a package.json file. Now what we just did was we actually created the uh, Node.js uh, project so that's your your typical node procedure so what we want to do is just go ahead and install uh, run the install express command again and this will actually save uh, express in the configuration options or configuration file that we just created and you'll see that it complained no description because we didn't actually add any of that it was an optional thing um, so you can just ignore those warnings Alright, now guys that we have an application going, we need to actually use an editor. And in my particular case, I'm going to be using Visual Studio, so I'm going to open up an occurrence of that. You guys don't have to use Visual Studio, you can use whatever you want. I could care less, there's so many of them out there, everybody has a personal preference. And the way I'm going to do this, in fact, I'm not even sure if it's the preferred way in Visual Studio, if you happen to be using it, I'm just going to open the website and point to the directory where we just created our project. And like I said, I'm not even sure if that is a, uh, a good process or not. So I'll just open that entire directory. So I apologize if this is hard to see, but you can see in my editor here that we have a node modules and then one of the modules in there, the only one that we have is the express uh, framework that we just went ahead and installed. And then you have this package.json file that if we open it up, you can see all the configuration settings that we have. Um, I'll go ahead and add a, my author name in here. Um, so the only dependencies that our Node.js application has is on the latest version of Express, which is um, the framework that we're going to be messing with here. All right, guys. So in our uh, main folder here, we're going to go ahead and create our JavaScript file, which we're going to call just uh, app.js. So I'm going to add a new JavaScript. the hell just happened there programmer error here one moment alright so I had to restart Visual Studio there that sucked alright let me go ahead and add a new file now it's just gonna be a JavaScript file and we're gonna call this uh, app and I just wanna make sure everything's working here so I'm gonna paste the um, the example from the website here just to get a hello world application running 
So just uh, t pause, take a moment, pause the screen, and just write this down if you if you would. And then we can go ahead and try to run it. And we're going to need to run this from the command line. So where the application is currently installed, you can see that app.js is there now. And we're just going to say node app.js. And now you can see it's actually listening on uh, port 3000, which is the port that we told it to do, uh, listen on. So now we need to go to um, localhost. So uh, HTTP, or let me do it. One, change this to 3000. And boom, we have a um, Express Node.js website actually up and running uh, with really minimal effort. So you can see this application uh, does not do much here, but uh, this particular video was just how we get our feet wet with Node and Express and how to get everything working. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.